welcome. I am Cynthia Harrison and this is the Intuitive Energy Medicine Power Reading for Monday evening. Welcome. I hope you can hear me this week. Actually, I'll put my earpiece in. What are we going to talk about this week? I wonder. What's been coming up for you in your worlds? Hey, Kath. What's been coming up that you might want a little bit of clarity on? What keeps recurring for you that you might want to see if there's an answer for you of some description. <laughs> we don't often know what's going to come out of these uh, Monday sessions, so we just start and see how they grow. I'm just going to move this because it's telling me. I can draw pictures and I don't want to draw pictures. Hello, Murray. <laughs> so what are we going to do? You know, um, often I get a bit of an idea of what might be um, relevant for people uh, just due to who I speak to during every week and what's showing up in my field and whatnot and yes things have shown up as they do this is life um, but I don't have anything solid <laughs> um, you know so really it will be based on what what comes up as usual um, what you're asking or what you've been experiencing yourselves thanks Kath <laughs> I got my silks on tonight. <laughs> um, maybe I'll tell you about the silk, okay. <laughs> Often I wear silk. Um, it actually assists in, especially if you're doing meditation. Um, I used to do uh, high level meditation. Um, I still do now but my it's my life I suppose um, my life is my meditation however if you wore silk over your head or around your shoulders or even if you're wearing silk it just assists um, uh, well there's different different reasons why if you wore it over the head um, it actually would make particular meditations uh, <laughs> turbo powered because the release was sort of held underneath so you get very hot and um, you wouldn't try that if you weren't experienced uh, <laughs> I can tell you lots of little tricks about power surging your practices but uh, anyway so wearing silk um, what are we going to talk about What's been happening? I sort of, I've spoken to Kath a little bit. I haven't spoken to Murray this week, so I um, don't know what's going on with him. There's somebody else that was, that had popped in. I don't know who that was. Um, what's coming in for me? It's not actually topics of any description. So I think I'm just a vessel tonight <laughs> um, for whatever needs to come in I've been hearing all day this crystalline sound and it hasn't gone and so you know there's lots of lots of things going on in the um, in the world that impact us uh, I mean you can get into that or you can just uh, be with it know that there's always changes every single day um, power surges and uh, you know coronial holes and the winds and magnet uh, magnetics that come from that and 
how that impacts us physically and uh, emotionally and whatnot. So that's always happening. I suppose while I wait for questions, because there's only a couple of you on, <laughs> maybe we could share a little bit about what we talked about in the Evolver group on Tuesday. So we had a catch-up conscious evolution group. Hey, Jennifer. We had a catch-up conscious evolution group on Tuesday evening because it's usually on a Sunday. Oh, Kath wants to talk about the sky gridding the other day. <laughs> you want to talk about the sky gridding? <laughs> Okay, let me, let me, as usual, um, we're going to share some of this out and uh, I haven't actually had a, so I'm just on my laptop now, give me a moment, I just wanted to say hello and everything before I started to share, so that's probably why we haven't got many people on because this is my business page. Um, so while I share, maybe you could share to your groups and why not. And uh, we can talk about some um, things that are showing up in the field or in our world or in our skies or in our meditations or whatever, however you want to look at it. I'm happy to do that. Um, so I'm just sharing. So let's share together, <laughs> share in a group. What groups will I share to? The Arts of Healing. Um, if you have any groups that you want me to share to, let me know or you can do it and then let me know because uh, I'm always looking for new people to chat to and share information with um, both ways. It's not just what what I want to talk about. Um, okay, share on my timeline. <laughs> what else? So, need some questions, need some uh, queries. We've got about the sky. Maybe some of you can put what you think is going on. I had, uh, I saw a post from somebody saying it was about um, the... Oh, it's not even in my field. Okay, <laughs> so this is a this is a topic. I'm a little. Um, I'm in a. I'm in a. I'm in a. I'm in a pla an unusual place today. Okay, and um, so this could be a fantastic um, call, or it could be a really crap one. Uh, but there's 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 a lot coming in. Um, Negative languaging, often I can't contact anymore because I don't want it in my field, right? So when I see or hear people talking about um, some of the things that they think it might be and it's on a negative in, in a way that it could uh, bring fear into the world, I, I don't respond, I don't respond because it's giving it energy. Uh, if it's about education, so we could do that now. And I know that some people might call that copping out. Um, I've been an activist most of my life. And now how I activate <laughs> is through... Uh, raising my own frequency and assisting other people to do the same because as you are the world shall be right and you can agree to or or, or not agree it, it's neither here nor there to me um everybody's entitled to uh, experience the world how they experience it now speaking of the web um cast which we were the other night <laughs> We were speaking of the web. The web, which is what a lot of you might see if you are practicing 
meditations and whatnot. And some might see it like um, fine threads of light, like uh, well, I suppose you could call it like a web. I don't necessarily see it like a spider's web. Some people might describe it like that. I describe it as a thumbprint. Um, what I see, what I used to see, I don't see it anymore. Um, uh, you go through these phases of what you'll see and experience and then once you've integrated it you don't need to see it anymore unless you ask so I can ask to see things uh, I used to see it in the blackness as gold threads and it was like um, fingerprints or thumbprints these uh, amazingly immaculately uh, fine lines um, that were all around me that's a slightly different because we have our personal grid we have our universal grid we have the matrix we have the web um, we have hey James we have so many different elements to our uh, our energy and um, what's around us so um, we have the sheaths uh, but yeah what what we were talking about was the web it's like the fiber optics Okay, we lost the connection. Okay, I don't know 